Pique is retiring. He's had a great career though, winning a World Cup and multiple Champions Leagues. But did you know he's also a club owner? Yes, a few years ago, Pique bought the club Andorra, who were in the fifth division of Spanish football. And as their club owner, he's got them promoted to the second division. My man's playing career mode out here in real life. In today's video, I'm going to make Pique the world's greatest club owner. Yes, better than the Glazers, better than PSG's owners and City's owners. We're going to make him the best. And to do that, our job is to take this Andorra team all the way to La Liga, winning the league title, and of course, ultimately winning the Champions League. Pique's done his work so far on the pitch, it's now time for him to do it in his suit. I am the boss. Where do we even start with this Andorra team? Because my god, is it terrible. How did they get promoted so quickly from the 5th division to the 2nd division? I mean, PK, you've done a good job. Their striker doesn't even have a game face. I think a lot of the squad does not have a game face, boys. This is not good. But okay, at least our keeper's semi-decent. Yeah, there is a lot of work to be done with this squad. Bro, we've got only 2 million to spend? Is that some sort of a joke? Surely PK can take some money out of his net worth to help out his club? Alright, let's figure things out right here. PK net worth. Okay, this is a pretty recent article that says his net worth is about $55 million. Bro, I feel he's worth more than that. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. But okay, $55 million ain't too bad. I think PK can take out a cheeky $8 million and give it to Andorra to help make the club better. So that's what we're doing. Our budget for the season, $10 million. Also, this $8 million we're taking for the budget is going to be from PK's net worth. So his net worth will be now $47 million. Every season from now on, our transfer budget is going to come from PK's net worth. And if it gets to zero before we get to La Liga, we failed as a club owner. And honestly, when you're taking a club this bad... The only solution is Youth Academy. We're going to figure this out with Academy players. Oh my god, the existing Academy. Oh my god, these players are so bad. Bro, I'm releasing all of them. All of y'all, get out of here. We need better talents. Okay, we do have this one guy as a scout, Eduardo Cortez, but he looks trash. We're going to spend 3.25 million to sign Torsten Fischer, a German scout. Five star judgment. Yo, you're coming in. I don't know what do I do with this scout. He looks so bad. I don't want to take talents from him. He's going to just bring us bombs, so we're going to fire him. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna send the big German scout that we've got to Spain for the next three months, and I'm gonna search for a defensive-minded player. I'm sure PK wants to see the next PK form at his own club. Over 60% of you guys watching my content haven't subscribed. I'm trying to hit 600k before the end of the year, and if you guys could help out, that'd be tremendous. Still got about 7 million left. We can't completely depend on the academy. We need to see if we can make a few signings to improve this team. I may have just found the next Sterling Holland. Rasmus Holland I don't know how you say his name. 19 years old, but he's from Denmark, but he's Scandinavian. I like the idea of this, and we could get him for a good price. PK negotiating his club owner. Let's see how he does negotiation-wise. Well, this is not good. I don't want to be paying more than his value. Let's be as stingy as possible. 2.2 million. Come on, PK, get it done. Bro, these guys are not lowering it down at all. They know PK's loaded, man. They know he's loaded. Well, we're going to go with 2.4 million. Well, 2.5. Let's just run with it. And there you go. PK's first signing as a proper club owner is quite possibly the next Sterling Holland. There you go. We've now got a semi-decent striker who's got great potential. Yo, he's left-footed as well. What's his height? Like six foot two. Bro, he's got the name of Holland as well in a way. We still got about four million. Maybe one more signing is possible. Maybe we should use our contacts with Barcelona and sign someone like Pablo Torre. Oh my god, for three million, Xavi's willing to let him go. See, see, that's the relationship PK has with Barca. They're willing to do us a favor. Well, big thank you to Barcelona, because I think we've got a superstar for the future. For 3 million, this is a steal. Like, I honestly can't believe how good of a price this is. Your PK does have some sort of a setting with Xavi or something, man. Like, yeah, look at this. An A grade for the price. That's it. We've used pretty much all our money. We probably won't have money for another scouting project this season, so this one needs to count, and looks like we have got a bit of a baller in Julio Beltran. Bro, this Beltran guy is a center for Forward, but legit, he should be a fullback. You look at his stats. He's got great physical pace, height as well. Yo, we're just going to convert him to a fullback. I know this sounds absolutely stupid, but I just feel he'll, he'll be an insane fullback. Just don't know why. Okay, with those couple of signings, our team is ready for the first season, and let's see how things go. We're halfway through the season.
losing and this is not going well. We're, we're 17th, yo. The team is growing just fine. I mean, look at Holland, but we're just not getting results. I think we need a bit of fresh legs in this team, but the issue is all we've got is 260,000. We can't even start a scouting project with this little money. Wait a minute. I do remember signing a couple of academy players and yeah, we're just going to promote them right now. Nicolas Chavez, 63 rated. He might be useful. We'll promote him. Beltran as well. We could promote him and use him. He was the center forward converted into a right back. Maybe a bit of young blood from the academy is what this team needs. We had so many players as contracts expiring. It was chaos. We managed to renew them, but now we've got even lesser money left. We're not rich. We're broke. Bro, this might be the most challenging video I've done because getting Andorra just to La Liga is going to be a tremendous task. Let's see how we end the season. I can't believe it. We finished 20th in the league. Like, my God. First season as club owner for PK as a proper, proper club owner and he gets absolutely destroyed. Well, at least there was some growth from a few players, but that's about it, really. The next Erling Holland managed to score 17 goals. Not bad at all. Pablo Torre was decent. And also, Nicholas Chavez might be the real deal at the back. Is he the next PK? I think we are building him to be that. But apart from that, this season, right off. Let's head into the next one and maybe PK needs to bring out the checkbook a bit. For season two, we can't be finishing 20th. So PK is going to be taking out 20 million more from his net worth and pumping it into the club. That means his net worth has gone down to 27 million. And if we can't make it to La Liga soon, we're going to fail the challenge. So we have 20 million to improve this team and make it good enough to get to La Liga. First up, a couple of free agents are available to sign. Marcus Alonso would be very interesting. He's played with PK before, so I think he might believe in the project. We need experience to get into La Liga, and Marcus Alonso brings just that. I think he's the first Champions League winner we've got in our team. Also, I'm signing Akram Afif, the first time I've ever signed a player from Qatar, and we got him for free. And you know what? He's actually really good. 78? I thought he was 77 rated, but whatever. He's a baller. Oh. Okay, new signings in, and the team already looks so much better. We still got 19 million to improve the team. We need someone to be the spine of this team in the CDM position, so I've signed Manu Morlanes for that CDM role. He's our most expensive signing, 7.7 .7 million for him, and he's 75 rated as well. Gotta say, the team is certainly coming together. All right, guys, we've just signed a baller for the team. We need a bit of Brazilian flair in this side, so we've signed him. It's KK of Manchester. Chester City for 4 million. He's joining Andorra. There you go. Putting him into the team, bro. We have really improved this team in one season. Still got 5 million to spend. Maybe one more signing that could help change things. And yes, that one more signing is going to be Edouard Michu, who I managed to sign for 3 million from PSG, by the way. Let's put him into the team as well. And bro, I like this squad. We also have a bit of money to send our scout once again for another project. We'll again send him to Spain. I want to keep bringing some Spanish talents into the team. So, our squad is set for the second season. Surely, we should be aiming for promotion, because we've got a lot of good players in here. Come on, man. After all those investments, we still don't get promotion to La Liga? Bro, we're running out of time and PK's money. Okay, player growth was solid this season. I just don't know why we couldn't do better. I mean, look at our academy players, Beltran and Chavez. They're doing so well. He's the next PK and he's balling out. The B-Tech Holland managed to grow pretty well as well. Pablo Torre did too. And I'm disappointed we couldn't get promotion. Oh, Holland stopped scoring as much as he did last season. That was a bit of a bummer. KK was a good signing, though. We need to make it to La Liga next season. We might have a bit of help for that because a few players look good from here, especially Yago Insua. If we can convert him to a left winger soon, I think he'll be good. So, yeah, we need to keep adding more players through the academy. We have Gerard Piquet putting all his remaining net worth into the club. 27 million for our budget this season. And if we don't, get this team promoted, we are gonna have to liquidate the club. That's right, PK would become the worst club owner ever. Okay, I think it's obvious with the money what we do. We legit need a goalkeeper and a centre-back, but before that, I want to check out if there are any good free agents. You never know with free agents, man. You might just find a baller somewhere. Why is my free agent luck so bad? Not a single good player is available, man. Ugh. I think we found a really good keeper that we can get for a solid price, and it's Kevin Meyer from Atlanta. 
Atletico Nacional. We managed to sign him for 10 million. That, it, it doesn't get better than that. What a deal for a 76 rated keeper. I mean, it's of course an A grade. Let's put him in the team and you know I love to see that. Let's now get his centre back. Before that though, we've got a few academy players who I really want to do a job for the club. I'm going to promote Aguirre. I'm going to promote Ledesma. Insua, I'll keep him in here because I'm trying to convert his position. Guys, I may have found one of the most insane free agents ever. It's Guido Cassidy. I'm very positive he's like Chiellini's regen. 77 rated at the age of 18. Bro, this is the kind of player that's going to get us to La Liga. And we've actually pulled it off and signed him for free. This is mental. Unbelievable, boys. Suddenly, we've got a 77 rated center back at the club. That is actually beautiful. Look at that. We can change one of our academy players to a left winger and boom, his overall goes up to 64. Let's promote him to the senior team. Come on. I just found a pretty amazing free agent striker who's 73 rated from Austria. Like, that is pretty good. Welcome to the club. Bro, our luck this season looks different. We don't even need to use the money. We're just filling in the squad with a ton of quality. I can't lie. I love the look of the first team and the bench is good as well. This might be the team that gets us into La Liga. We still got about 17 million, but I think I'm going to keep that money just in case we need it for next season, in case we don't get promotion. But I genuinely believe we need to be in La Liga. This is where we're going to find out the moment of truth. Have we made it to La Liga for the first time ever? Oh my god, we're in the top 10 like last season, but this time we're in a qualifying spot. This is it. This is it where we finish though. We're in the top 3, in the top 2. Oh my god, we've managed to win the league our first trophy with andorra pk's club owner has got his team to of course la liga we're going to la liga with a lot of players having good ratings pablo torre 84 michu 82 holland 82 as well and goals wise holland scored 21 times kk did well too is everyone gonna perform in la liga too L let's find out i'm excited after three seasons we're gonna be part of the big leagues it's our first time in la liga and this should be fun We've got the new investments. We don't have to worry about being liquidated. So our budget should be consistent from now on. 40 million for this season. And with Alonso retiring, I think we need a new left back. We're in La Liga, guys. We need squad depth. So I'm signing those kind of players. First one's a free agent, Raul Guti. He's not the youngest player or anything. He's 28 years old. But the thing about him is that he's 76 rated. Can't lie. I think that is a lovely player to have on the bench. For left back, I'm going to probably make my most expensive signing in a while and that's Alejandro Grimaldo. We need a bit of experience in the defense and Grimaldo might provide it. His contract's expiring and so we've made our most expensive signing yet in Grimaldo. And look at that. We managed to get him for 26 million. We've got only about 8 million left but I'm looking at my squad. I think we've got what it takes to survive La Liga. Let's build from there. First season in La Liga and it's fair to say we've established ourselves as like a mid-table club. But bro, look at the growth in our players. Almost every player in the starting 11 is 80 plus rated. Yo, soon we should be in the Champions League at this rate. The growth from especially the academy players. Look at Beltran, Chavez, Michu and Pablo Torre have been flying. So is the Erling Haaland's regen that we've got. Hodgland. On the bench as well, some of the youngsters growing really well. We've built a monstrous team. And I love the fact how unique it is. Bro, Rasmus Hodgland is actually amazing. And bro, shout out to Akram Afif. I mean, he's been like a hidden gem for us. Like, first time ever using a Qatar player and he's balled out. In the cup, we managed to reach the semis as well. I'd say this was a good season, but the next one can be even better. All right, boys, for season five, looks like the budget has been upped. I think PK knows this team can reach the Champions League if we can get top four. So let's focus on it. 90 million, and I've got an idea. I think I'm gonna try and reunite PK and Gavi. This might be a bit controversial because Gavi is kind of like a son to PK now. I, I don't know what's going on, but oh well. Okay, first round of negotiations and we've been kicked out. Okay, we've managed to agree a deal for about 78.5 million for Gavi. Real Sociedad though are willing to pay more. It all depends now what Gavi chooses. Does he want to get reunited with PK? But it looks like Gavi has chosen us and our project. Gavi and PK reunited just like father and son. There you go, boys. Pablo, Gavi, and Andorra. Well, this is how we're going to play to accommodate both Michu 
you and Gavi. Can't lie, I think it'll work. Well, we've basically used all our cash to sign Gavi with him. I think we need to be making it to the Champions League. Kind of surprised we only finished eighth this season. I was expecting more. I guess we need a bit more funding next season. What do we do in the cup? We, well, once again in the semi-finals. Feels like a repeat from last season, man. Not much growth as well this season. Hotchdown keeps scoring, but we need better. BK has decided to fund the team with crazy money this season. 140 million. This is the situations where owners come into play. Let's make this team a team good enough to get Champions League football. First signing we're making this season is a backup goalkeeper for free. And he's actually 80 rated. But I feel we need a superstar. And for me, that's going to be Jadon Sancho. Although I do not know if we can afford him. This might be tough negotiations. PK is going to have to negotiate with his former club. He did play for Man United. 110 million. But they've gone down to 128. Ugh. Okay, I think 120 million should work. And it does. Guys, like, I really wanted to sign Sancho, but we just don't have the money for it. He's asking too big of a contract. We might have to go for a player that is PK's friend, and I would say Ferran Torres. But again, it's the same thing. He'll be too expensive too. Bro, I can't seem to find a good left winger, man. Honestly, what about Luis Diaz? He's 30, but he's in his prime. This should be more possible. Gonna have to make every penny count, and looks like 80 million works. Let's go, guys. The most expensive player we've signed yet, Luis Diaz, joins PK's club. Bro, we needed that signing, boys, because now look at our bench. It's going to look amazing with Luis Diaz in the starting 11. A thief on the bench. I'm liking this. We could still work with a better bench, more depth, but I think this team is more than good enough to get us Champions League football. We did it, guys. We're going to the Champions League for next season. And Dora finishing fourth. My God. Was this tough? But after what, seven seasons? Well, actually, this is the sixth season. But yeah, we have finally made it to the big league. Although we're still way off from winning the title. We can finally be competing with all the big boys in Europe's elite club competition next season. I'm gassed. We've got the greatest budget we've ever had. 200 million. Yo, PK maybe wants to win the Champions League this season. I think we've got the first team to do it. What we do lack is a bit of squad depth. We've made our first signing of this window. And I've decided we need squad depth to win the Champions League. So this is who we've signed. It's Fabian Ruiz. I know he's 31 years old, but this is the kind of player we need. Off goes Fabian Ruiz to the bench. And the depth is looking good. We need a backup fullback as well. And we've got our backup fullback. A player I normally don't sign. Riddle Barku, a solid right back from Frankfurt. Going to be adding him to our bench as well. Backup keeper in there. Bro, we've got solid, solid squad depth, but I think we could do with an upgrade in the right wing position. Maybe I'll trade KK for someone else because he hasn't grown as much as I'd expect. What about we sign another Brazilian, but this time it's Mr. Spinneroni. Yes, I'm going to try and sign Anthony, but do we have the money though? Okay, I'm definitely going to put KK in a swap deal. He's worth a fair bit, so should help reduce the fee down to something more reasonable. They want 95 million and KK. Are you kidding me? What are we going to pay Anthony for contract then? We're going to have to make it 60 million. And 60 million actually works. I think this is one of the best signings we've made so far. Welcome to PK's Andorra. Anthony, you're going to help us win the Champions League. Okay, that's our team now. I think this season, let's get it done. Bro, it's such a shame. After building a super team, only third in La Liga, the Champions League is going to be our saving grace, hopefully. First time in this competition and looks like we have topped our group. That's a brilliant sign. We faced Marseille. That was a lucky draw and we got through quarterfinals we had to get through on penalties against uv semi-finals we got through atletico and we're in the final against napoli yes we've got a chance to make pk the world's best club owner by winning the champions league fc andorra from where we started we're now in the champions league oh no luis diaz is is suspended. We're going to have to play Insua or, or maybe someone like Afif. I might play Afif because I feel like he deserves it. He's been here from day one. We'll give him the go. I'm so excited to try out the poor man's Holland. Players like Pablo Torre. And let's not forget, of course, the next Gerard Piquet in Chavez. Let's see how things go. Let's make Piquet the world's best club owner. Napoli in the Champions League final is definitely interesting. We've got Raheem Sterling. Oh, there he is. Get the ball away from him. Oh, we give it right back. What are we doing? Here is the poor man's Holland. 
Left footed nope. shot. Not too bad. I see you. I see you, Beltran. I see you. Back inside for Anthony. Now it is Pablo Torre. Oh, bro, what was that touch? Yo, this guy, I'm really excited to use, man. A thief. I want to see what he's all about. Good pass for Grimaldo. Gets it back. And still holding it. Keeping it well. We've got a chance here. Gavi looking for Anthony. Oh, he controls it. Can't get the shot off. That was such good play. Headed down for a thief. Go on. Maybe a chance for him, though. He's going to go for Whee! a power shot. Big deflection. Anthony. That is such a good pass. Such a good pass. And what a finish. We now need to show a bit of respect for Hodgeland. He's not the next Erling Haaland. He is the first Hodgeland. I think that's how we'll give him a bit of respect. We've been calling him the B-Tech Holland, but he's a different kind of player. But ultimately, he's a gold scorer too. Bro, he is actually OP, man. Look at him go. He's unstoppable. Bro, he is actually unstoppable. 2-0. Raheem Sterling on the attack. Okay, I just got destroyed by Sterling there. Wow, they're back in this. That's a really smart ball. And Hodgland gets it and scores. Ooh. Offside. She can cough. And they've got a proper chance here. And oh, what a save from our keeper. How did he stop that? It should have been 2-2. Pablo Torre looking for Gavi. And it had to be Gavi to score for PK's club. 3-1. And we've done it, boys. We've made PK the best club owner in the world by winning him the Champions League with Andorra from the fifth division. PK's managed to get them to a Champions League. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy me taking over Nottingham Forest and making them the best club in the world. Click somewhere to watch it.